Hi, Raven here. Just before we get started, if you find this video useful or you just enjoyed watching, then please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. And if you wish to support me further, there's a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page in the description. Thanks very much. Now back to it. This video is going to cover how to create and use compositions. So what is a composition? and why would you want to use it? So basically a composition is anything that you place down and spend time customizing. So why would you want to use it? Well, it just saves you placing and customizing that thing every single time. So where are they located? So if we go up to F2 up here, you see at the end here it says custom. So that's where they're located once you've created them. So you see I've got a few there. So I've got a couple of guys, so I've customized this guy here. So if I drop him down, you can see that if you place a guy down, he doesn't look like that. So it just saves me having to create this guy every single time. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you. Let's go to camp um, table chair. Say you want to um, set up a camp. Um, let's put something else down. Campfire. Uh, compass we'll put that on the table there you go so say we've got a little camp here um, and you want to use that everywhere else so you highlight everything either by dragging a box over it or you can click off of that you can highlight them if you press um, shift and go to the bottom it selects them all or say you wanted everything but the the chair you could press one of them and then hold control down and then select whatever you want so we'll grab it all for now so once you've highlighted what you want to save you right click on it and go down here save custom composition click on that um, and then give it a title so I'll put Camp set up demo category. So I just leave it on other. You can put it in different categories, but I prefer to leave it on other unless it's obviously for the men or anything like that. So now if we close that. You can see here we've got a camp. So if I just grab that, and we can rotate it while it's still all selected, and we can um, place that anywhere we want. So the only thing you have to bear in mind with um, placing down compositions, if it's not a fixed location, so I'll show you that in a minute. So if you've got a base set up for instance, that base is always going to be there um, in a certain place, then it's not so bad and it very rarely happens. But if you're just putting this camp somewhere else, I want to put that on a mountainside somewhere, you can see from the compass that it's floating in the air. So that's the only thing you need to check and that's only the elevation that will change. Everything else will stay the same but some things might change uh, elevation. So all you do is highlight it, hold Alt down and then you just drag it until it snaps the table. Like so. So whenever you place something down as a composition and it's in a different location to where you created the original one. Just go through every object, just a quick scan over every object that you've placed just to see if anything's floating. 
so that is the only issue with with it um, so what we're going to do now is I'll show you a fixed composition so now we're in the Takistan map it's one of my favorite maps and you can see here that I have spent some time creating a nice little base that is ideal for sort of mill sim uh, mission something like that so you can see there's a lot of um, work has been put in to sort of put things down in certain places a lot of things being cut away like landscapes stuff like that now something like this if it did didn't get replaced in exactly the same place a lot of these um, H barriers would be floating or a lot of stuff would float so in order to get around that what you do is we should go to the map view and we've got these grids so what I do is I go to markers areas grab a rectangle and the rectangle already comes out at 100 by 100 um, sort of grid square it is actually probably 50 by 50 because it's half but these grid squares are 100 by 100 so then what I do open that up change color to red so you can actually see it against the grid square change the type to border and OK so now what I'm going to do is grab that and place it on the grid obviously spend a bit of time doing it properly because it will I've unclicked it I think yeah so make sure that it's exactly lined on the grid square like so now what I also do is because it might be a while before you use this and obviously there's a lot of squares about now this is kind of obvious because you can tell that it wants to be this sort of bit here wants to be either side of that road as does this entrance want to be on the other either side of that road so you can you can kind of tell that that square that I've got there it wants to be there but just as a reminder I put a little grid location so I know that that corner needs to go at 084020 um, and again that is just go to icons and I think I used standard drawn arrow so if I put that there on that corner so that corner is 086020 so in the text box 086020 and again I'll change the color to red so it's obvious so then when I grab everything so grab it all I'll include this little mark here and then save that as the composition so when we place it down I don't have to worry about aligning this perfectly I just align that box perfectly and it will place this so I'll show you okay so we're in Takistan map and there's nothing placed down we'll go to our compositions Takistan base and we'll just drag it over roughly where we want it so we'll find our grid coordinates so I believe it's that one there yep 084 020 so basically that corner needs to go in that corner while it's still all highlighted so make sure you don't press or make sure you don't click off of it if you do don't worry about it you can just highlight it all again so let's just move it a bit closer closer until I was fully zoomed in now so now if I just 
does take a sec to um, align it, there you go. So that's perfectly aligned. I can now click off of it. It's all settled. And now I can just get rid of my markers. So get rid of that, get rid of that. And let's have a look, see if anything's actually moved. So let's just have a quick fly around. All the H barriers seem to be in place, nothing floating. Sometimes, if you don't get it right, these sandbags nearly always float if you don't um, get them in a fixed place. There you go, it's a perfect fit, nothing's floating. Okay. So um, lastly, obviously we've got this camp set, set up demo. We want to delete that. So I'll show you where that is located. So it's located in your documents armor three folder. So where your missions folder is, is one above it compositions. So if we click into that and we've got this camp set up demo. So if you delete that, and then come out. So next time you go in, the obviously it's still there because we've not come out of the editor, but next time you go into the editor, that will be gone then. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Good luck.